Disney and Capcom? Is this some kind of Mega Man Donald Duck or something? I've got no time for any ducks. I only play games with characters starting with M's. Oh. Okay, never mind. I guess we'll be fine. Magical Quest. We got some options. Let's see what we can do. Of course we're gonna play this on the hardest difficulty, you nuts! How bad can it be? Well, it can be pretty bad, but... I'll, I'll talk about that. Inevitably. Let us begin. You can do a two-player game. But I don't really feel like doing that, because I don't have nobody to play with. Because I told all my friends, Hey, you wanna play this game about Mickey Mouse? And they're all like, What? No. God, no, no, never. Not even once. But we're going to at least begin this game with this lovely little introduction where Goofy is going to throw the ball and Mickey. Oh, Mickey, you tried to catch the ball. Wait, hold on. Pluto, please, if you'd be so kind. Oh, Goofy, Goofy, hold on. I know that you have things to say, but I'd like to catch my dog. Where are you going? The dog went the other way, Goofy. You were acting very silly. Alright. Well, yes, Mickey, I guess we can count on... You can't count on Goofy! He's just gonna go... He's gonna take his kid to the Powerline concert, because he's not even paying attention to the map. Alright. We actually get to start the game now. Oh, wait, no, there's still some more. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? Gonna start the game now. Uh, I'm sorry. I chose to show that introduction. I didn't have to. I'm sorry. But let us begin in the first world, the treetops. Very good starting level. Reminds me much of a beautiful, cloudy bunch of vines. I don't know. But. If you throw these- oh, I don't know how that happened. Usually you have to throw those tomato-looking things and catch them and- Mickey! Oh. You should let go, though, because they will blow up. And to get rid of your enemies, you gotta step on them and throw them. Like, dude, throw that one, he's gonna freak out. And open the door. You don't open a lot of doors in that game, so relish that last one, because I don't remember when we'll next open a door. Very sorry about that. But I'm not just playing this game just because I feel like it. This is one of those games you voted on. This is the third- this has got, like, the third most votes. That's cool, man. Somebody asked me to play this game, and I- I don't know if I would have, but I did play this all the time as a kid, and I'd already been thinking about it, so... Here's to you, whoever it was that asked me to play this, like, four months ago. That's just the kind of guy I am playing games that I played as a kid, and I think I lost the instruction guide that I got when I rented this, and I felt really guilty, and I thought that the place that I rented videos from would get really mad, and they wouldn't let me rent stuff anymore. But it was okay, I found it, it was under the dresser. It's gonna be fine. Now, you might notice that there's a time limit, but I also want you to realize that, uh, 500 seconds? You're you're gonna be fine. Don't don't worry too much. You're not gonna run out of time. There's it's just not gonna happen. And I have two hearts, hit points obviously. If I started on normal or I believe easy, no, just normal. Normal gives you three hearts, and I believe easy gives you four hearts. You can increase the number of hearts you have, but it doesn't really matter. We have two lives, and I'm desperately hoping that Wizards... Oh, wait, no, he's done talking. Um, yes, if you were paying attention, he dropped some blocks. And I remember when I first played this game, I thought that was uh, Emperor Pete in disguise. Is it? We'll see. Probably not. Nope. Uh, oh, this is a hidden door. Um, get these coins. You can use them to purchase things from stores. This is not a store, though. This is some birds. Let the birds fly. Get those apples for points, and why not get points? There isn't much reason to, but it couldn't hurt, you know? 
This is a very lovely designed game. Oh, shoot. There. Wait, no, I thought... No. Oh. Get him. Wow. Uh, okay. Well, what? I don't know what's going on. Okay. Alright, alright. I'm okay. I should also mention that those boxes, you saw there was some red ones back there. The red ones, um, they come back when you pick them up. Like, they keep respawning. The yellow ones do not. The yellow ones, you just break on people. Those bees! Ah, get out of here, bee! Ow! Mickey! Be careful, you're standing on spikes! Don't st stop doing that! G catch that! No. Because I think there's a heart up there, and I want to get every heart I can- Wait! Yes! Yes! Is there a heart? Perfect. Those big hearts give you more heart. That's all I got. I don't know. I I'm very appreciative of those hearts, though. It's really hard to make it through without collecting a bunch of those puppies. Alright, this is what I like in the game, too, is when you're up on a hill, and you can run down. That's the best stuff in this whole game, because honestly, it gets a little tedious just kind of walking. I wish there was a run button, but what is usually a run button in games like this is, uh, is used for picking up boxes. So, really, the other two buttons don't get as much use as they really could. They're used later for something, but I prefer a run button. This giant tomato, what's... What, okay, I thought that was going to crush me. I was going to be very scared. If I can time this right, just don't run up there. Get up here, and I believe get rid of these enemies. They're good. Let's see, we've got some... Oh, I was hoping this would be coins. I believe. Oh, I know what you're hiding. There's a door for a store, I think. Let's see what we can buy. Nothing. Fantastic. Well, nice to see you too, sir. Well, maybe we'll get something another time. Next, let's. Oh, it's a gargoyle or something. It's a flying monkey, maybe. I don't know. But he's got Pete's big ugly face on him, so I'm assuming he's been sent by Pete. Who is a cat. I always thought he was a cat, and then I heard someone try and say he was a dog, and I was like, you childish buffoon. There's no way. Okay. Okay. I I will be honest, I don't like I don't really I especially this boss fight. I don't like a lot of the boss fights. This one though in particular is a real buzzkill. Because there is something that you get later on that makes boss fights a little easier. But just jumping on his head and throwing these things at him, it's kind of tedious. Especially because he takes a lot of hits to kill. So, I don't know what to tell you. It's not necessarily difficult, so much as it is time-consuming and... With the law of averages being what it is, you will probably screw up enough times for him to finish the fight before you do. But, I got him. I'm very pleased, because that did not look like I was going to win. I, I don't like how he throws these little monsters at his. Those are the tricky part. Getting past them. I'm going to show you a trick in this part soon. I promise you. You're not even going to know what hits you. Because I got it off of Game Facts. Because I was like, how can I get more 1-ups? And then it told me. I'd love to lie and tell you I knew it all along, but I didn't. That would be ridiculous. Enough talking about things that are in the future, though. Because we're going to hop on these battle toads. Perfect aim. Good one, Mickey. Oh, I didn't know why you started swimming. This... Alright, that's what I like to see. Now, I see this beaver? Wah! Not that bee, but, uh, okay. Uh, ah! Mickey, be careful, man. The beaver's in trouble. But I want to get that bee out of here, man. You are not part of my plan. Um, get the... Throw it, get rid of that beaver, and swim through his dam. Get some air. Get some air. A two-up! 
Ah, and the beaver came back. But that's okay, we got two more lives now, which is good, because lives are rare near the beginning of the game. They, they get more common later, but right now, I guess the game is assuming you're not going to play on hard mode, because this stuff's kind of tricky. It gets easier later, I promise. Now, don't hold on to one of those blocks when you're in the water, though, or you will sink, and if you don't let go of it, you're sinking to the bottom. There's nothing you can do about that. Uh, be careful, though, with timing those spear soldiers, too. You have to... that's the... that's the name of the game with this. You gotta be careful, always. Who's our boss? Is it... it's, it's a pita pillar. Get down here. Wait, maybe he's more of a snake. I don't know. The segmented body kind of makes me think he's a caterpillar. You know what? Who cares? He's throwing eggs. Well, I don't believe... Well, no, snakes make eggs. So clearly this is some kind of snake. Of course he's a snake. Look at those teeth. Jeez, silly goose. But they, see that part of his body? You can take that and throw it at him, which is pretty... That's metal stuff, maybe. For... I mean, for a Disney game, taking part of somebody's, like, horribly massacred body and throwing it at them is pretty hardcore stuff. I'm telling you. I'm not trying to fool you. This is as gruesome, gruesome as it gets. I told you, man, this game... This game ain't for kids. This is some tough stuff when you're playing on hard mode. It, it lives up to the title. There are some tough spots. There are some spots that... I feel were designed poorly, but I will discuss those when I feel it's most appropriate. I'm not sure how many hits this guy takes. I just know that he takes... Bosses take more hits in the hard mode than they would in normal and easy mode, which I honestly find that's kind of an artificial difficulty. So if you really want to have fun with this game, and I do, I recommend it. I'm just saying there are a few flaws. Every, I mean, every game is flawed, except Mega Man DOS. But th this game's flaws aren't quite as prevalent if you're playing on an easier setting. I'm just playing on hard because I kind of want to... I kind of wanted to do it, I just thought it'd be fun to try it out, see if I challenge myself a little bit. I, honestly... I have the most difficulty in the first set of stages on hard mode. Well, good try, Mickey. You're, you're doing an ace job. You just, it's just not easy getting this snake out of your life. It stops jumping. Is that, is that the end? No. Ah. He. This is honestly not a hard. Yes. Never mind. Enough of what I said. Cause that ghost. Look at that face. That silly snake. That's all for the treetops, though. And we get a little spotlight section to get some more coins based on how we did. And I'll drop it off there. I'll see you in whatever the next world is. I forgot, and I don't really care to look it up. So, you'll just have to guess, or no. Doesn't really matter. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry this wasn't part of my famous tic-tac-toe let's play. I'll see you later.